Hello everybody, this is the next video in a series of videos on exploratory computing with Python. My name is Mark Bucker and I work at the Delft University of Technology. Today's topic is IPython widgets and we're going to use IPython widgets to change the look and content of a graph. The first thing to do is to create a, fun create a function that makes the graph and make sure that the input argument of the function is the value or the thing you want to change in the graph. So we start out, <coughs> import numpy is np, import <coughs> matplotlib.py plot as plt, we do the matplotlib inline figures. And we start out with a function, let's call it plot. Let's plot a line, just a simple line uh, from x going from minus one to plus one and then y, uh, make the y variable. So we have x is equal to np dot array minus one and plus one. So it's a straight, gonna be a straight line and y is np dot array that goes from <clears throat> minus i1 to plus i1 whatever y i1 is that we y1 is that we enter and let's make y1 by default 1 if we don't give it and then we do a, a plot plt.plot from x of x and y with a, a line width of 3 so we can actually see the line it's plt.plot, of course, and um, we're going to set the x limb and the y limb. We wanna, don't want them to change x limb for minus 1 to 1 and the y limb for minus 1 to 1. And we're going to set the axis scale so that the axis on both, the scale on both axes is the same. Yet the limits given by x lim and y lim are, are taken into account. Let's see what that of that function works now. If we do plot line uh, without anything, we should get a graph. There it is. And if we would say y1 is equal to minus 0 0.5, we also get it. The next thing we want to do is to add a slider to change the value of y1 interactively. Um, and to use a slider, we're gonna use the uh, function interact, which is part of the IPython widgets. First, we import the interact function from IPython, that's with two capitals, dot HTML dot widgets, plural, input, import, interact and if we then do interact open parenthesis interact open parenthesis you see what what it takes doesn't show much it takes an interaction function the function we want to use to interact with is this plot line function plot line and then we want to vary y1 with a slider and a slider is the easiest thing to make with interact because you simply tell it that y1 should vary between two values y1 is equal, it should vary from say minus 1 to plus 1. This interact function will now call this plot line function, add a slider to the, uh, to the graph for y1, varying from minus 1 to plus 1. Hit shift enter, there is our graph, and it's nicer if you add a semicolon here so that this function output part is not shown. So we add a, a semicolon, so that's not shown. Here is our slider. Um, and by default, our y1 is set to 1, which is the value which, which it is in the function itself. And we can use this slider now and move it and see it jumps to 0 and it jumps to minus 1. So apparently when we make this slider, <coughs> the, uh, it makes an integer slider. y1 can only be integers. To change that, if one, uh, we can make one of these minimum or maximum values a float, for example, minus 1.0. If you do that, now we can vary this incrementally and it goes by increments of 0.1 as you can see. If you think 0.1 isn't enough either, we could add a third point here. We could say we, we want to have steps of 0.01. Um, 
If you now vary this, it goes by steps of 0.01 to change the value of y1 in the graph. Also note that there is a little gray X here at the top. If you click that, the slider goes away, and you're left with whatever state the graph was, was, was in when you clicked on the gray cross. The next thing I want to do is I want to change, for example, the color of the line. The first thing I have to do is modify my function, because now the color also has to be an input argument. Only when I have an input argument to a function, I can use the interact function of the widgets to make a change. So we say here color is equal to blue, and then we have to change the plotting command and say, all right, I want the color to be whatever the color is that we enter at the top. So maybe I should call this uh, just to make it sure it's C. And I set the color equal to C. There's our function. And I can show you it works. Plot line. Well, if I don't give it any arguments, we get this. But if I change the color to red, you see it changes it to red. There is our function, and I want to now change the interact, and I'm going to do that on separate lines just because it's a little easier to see what, what we all have in the interact function. We change the y1, and now we want to change whatever input variable we called c, and that c value is going to be a list of color names. For example, a blue, which we already have, but we could also have orange or maybe purple. And this could be as many as you want. That's all there is to it. If I hit shift enter now, it's going to include this nice little drop down menu that if you click on it, it shows all the colors we've added and I can pick another one. I can pick orange or I can pick red or purple. Red wasn't in there. Um, and I can still use the slider, right? And then change this back to orange. I can do anything I want. Once I'm all done, I can hit this cross and it will stop interacting. The slider and the drop-down list are the two easiest features to add to a interactive graph with a widget, an IPython widget. But there are, there are many other IPython widgets, and I'm going to show you one more, and the one I'm going to show is radio buttons. Um, for that, we first have to import the radio buttons widget from IPython. Oh, we already have that here. Widgets import not just the interact function, but also the radio buttons widget we now have a radio buttons widget and we can add a radio buttons widget to this graph instead of uh, making this a list I'm going to call this a radio buttons widget radio buttons widget which has values equal to the list we just created and now rather than making it a drop down widget that we've shown previously it now becomes a radio buttons widget. Uh, it does not. What do we have? We are missing a colon somewhere. Is that what the problem is? Values is, yeah, so this is radio buttons widget says invalid syntax, right? So the radio buttons widget has an open parenthesis and a closed one, and now we still have to close the parenthesis for the interact function. So if we hit now shift enter, it's gonna work. And you see there are now radio buttons. And the thing with radio buttons is that you can only click one at a time. So if I click the orange, the blue one will go out. There's the orange one. There's the purple one. And it still works just as advertised. But now there are radio buttons. There are many other widgets you can use in IPython notebooks. Here's a small list of names that are more or less descriptive. Use Google to find out the features that are being added at the moment. IPython widgets are still very much in development, so things may change, new features may be added. So visit the IPython webpage to find out what can be done in the future. That was all I had for you today. I hope to see you next time.